these next four items are rather strange. Uh, I have a theory about it, but I'm quite welcome to be shot down. Uh, again, all these artefacts were found in a very old Lower Paleolithic site, probably dating over 600,000 years old. Each of them has this general bird shape with an eye. And what's interesting about it is that every one of them has a groove cut along from the back right the way around the crest and up to the top. You see each of them has the same grooving up to the top. And this one is interesting. It looks to me like twine has been put in and tied round. This one actually has what looks like the remains of it. Looks like it was tied in here into this groove around the top under there. It looks like there's actually the fossilised remains of what could be twine or possibly the resin to hold it in. At first I thought these were it's very, you see this place where you put your thumb? It's, it feels like a fishing reel to me, like it could have had a wooden attachment or a bone attachment attached to spool. But somebody pointed out, you know, why would they make these out of stone when they could use wood? Well, I think they could actually have been used as atlaus. But this one's actually got markings that looks like something's been fitted across. The twine would have been fitted in here and clipped in and down. And then there's a lovely groove going again all the way along the crest and out to the top with an eye on the other side which could easily have been a fixing point and again feels very good in the hand um, but they, they could actually have been used to harness spears or harpoons maybe to throw spears attached to twine and then to play the, the wild animal um, I think they would have been Heavy, more heavy duty. I don't think wood would, or even bone would have done the job. Something heavy like this. And as I say, all of them have the same features. This groove going along the ridge, which I don't possibly believe is natural. Or, you know, don't, I can't believe it's a worm <laughs> going through wood. And it would have been quite easy really to chisel out this, just to hold a twine in place, or even a tendon. This one's actually quite sophisticated because it, it, it feels to me, it looks to me like it's been, there's a hole actually that goes all the way through. From there, you can't really see it very clearly, but you could, something could have been tied around this groove, into there, and then out of here. And it looks like there's another attachment where it comes back over the top, this fresh stone looks like something's been put on it, maybe an attachment for wood. And again, it's got that really good ergonomic feel. And again, the last one um, looks quite used actually. Uh, looks like it's been tied in there. This stuff looks like the remains of some sort of resin or putty that they've used to tie it in there, into this hole. And it's come round here, through this groove up to the top. It looks like it's broken off at the top but then this is the pr place where there'd be the pressure when you're actually playing a, an animal or a bird. This one also has got an interesting adapt adaption. See this groove that goes in here? You can put something like a stick through there and it would actually stop the line being played out. A bit like a fishing reel today which is why I th thought it. It feels like a fishing reel but it could quite easily have been used to attach to spears or arrows um, to actually bring down animals. Um, they're very unusual. My interpretation may be suspect, but I don't. These artifacts have definitely been created with a certain intent in mind. You know, I find one, and I think it's. You know, I have a theory. When I find a second, maybe it's a coincidence. But when I find three or more, I see a definite pattern. Whatever was made, whoever made these had a an intent. You know, they're useful tools but not seen in any of the later Stone Age technologies. Opinions welcome. <laughs> Thanks.